Good afternoon, Year 3, and welcome to your art lesson. Um, we have got something very exciting. I really enjoyed doing this today. So, your skill today is design an authentic Grecian vase. So, you're going to be designing your very own Grecian vase that tells a story of ancient history. Now, we're going to look at um, the Greek vases in more detail and why um, it was important for the Greeks because they were a very, very important part of their lives. So if we have a look at this one here, we can see that we've got some warriors, we've got animals, we've got some horses. So this is a lovely artifact, it's been well kept. So vase painting was important and pots would normally feature paintings of people or figures and they always told a story, that is how through um, the vases that we have been able to find more about um, the ancient Greeks because they always told a story and they're very very decorative I love all the decoration on Greek vases so these here um, are called craters so mostly um, the vases were usually used for holding wine or water and as we know the Greeks love a good glass of wine so um, there would be lots of vases containing wine and water and they are called a crater so these are really nice and um, I really like the one with the pouring spout that one's definitely been used for a um, liquid in there and I really like um, the one with the flowers on um, it's so precise must have taken them ages, absolutely ages, to do all those fine details there. Now these pots, they tell us a story. So um, there it looks like there's, they're either doing some worshipping of, or praying, or just talking. And here it looks like there is a war going on. There's a battle and someone's trying to calm it down. I don't know. So the vases were actually made on pottery wheels and they were made out of clay. Now, if we were all at, at school, we would have been making our own um, vases at school made of clay and then designing them ourselves. So the handles um, and all the other shapes that they make on there would be added with clay slip, which is basically making the area quite rough and then using a more watered down bit of clay to put on and um, join the two um, bits of clay together so they wouldn't break off. So very, very crafty um, and handy the Greeks were. So the vases um, would then be decorated and it would depend on the time as to what style was used. Obviously you can see with the one on um, at the, uh, the one with the face um, this is very unusual but you it's definitely from Grecian time because of the colors that they've used and the way that they have decorated it um, but this is the only vase that I found that had the face of a shape the shape of a face <laughs> and um, this one looks like they're playing a game um, but they're definitely warriors um, soldiers there but Either they're taking a chance on their life or agreeing to something, but they're definitely playing a game there. Um, here we have someone on a chariot and someone else on their horse. It looks like, if you look really closely, it looks like a wise owl head. Um, wise owl is being used for the heads on these people, on these little figures. So, very interesting designs. So the vase would be painted with black and red paint and the marks would be put on the vase with a small brush. Now these brushes were normally made out of feathers or horse um, hair, tail hair of some sort. So you can imagine getting those tiny little brush strokes would have been quite difficult for them because it wouldn't be like the brushes, the paint brushes that we use today. So each painter had their own style and design and people could tell if a certain artist painted a vase. Just like we could tell the difference between Banksy 
and um, let's think um, I've gone blank on all the artists that we have um, Picasso there we go so um, but we can always tell everyone has their own style and mostly the vases were made in Spain, Spain, Sparta, Crete and Cyprus. Um, I just really like this image of all of these vases here because you can tell that they aren't small vases. So they came in all sorts of shapes and sizes and it always depended on what was going to go in the vases, that um, the size that they were going to be. Um, it wasn't just liquids that they used to store in there, they was just used to store foods um, and treasures. I know that um, King Eurys used to hide in a big vase away from Hercules because he was scared that Hercules was going to do something to him. So he always used to stay in a vase, so you can imagine the size of that vase. Um, so the red figures in um, some of the Grecian vases um, were later on in, the Grecian, in ancient Greeks was replaced by the black figures. Um, and the figures were then outlined the um, with black. I said that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> the red figures replaced the back black figures, and the figures were outlined with black. Okay, so these pictures don't really show that, but it's just to show you the amount of detail and colour. And they only really had sort of um, three, maybe four colours in. Uh, on their vases so there was definitely black and there was definitely red and there's a bit of um, a cream creamy color and obviously because they were made out of clay the clay was obviously orange so it really stood out on the vases and they used to put lots and lots of layers on as well so over time when it did chip it was what well, didn't look as bad but you can tell that they can stand the test of time because there are some vases that you can see in museums that are so well kept and looked after. So definitely great craftsmanship back in ancient Greek times. And these are just a couple vases from um, Hercules's 12 labours. Obviously two of them are from the film but um, this is what we're going to be creating today. So we're going on the fact that we've been looking at Hercules for the past two weeks and we're going to be making a vase based on his one of his 12 labours. So this, um, the first outline is what I have actually um, put on the school website for you. So if you didn't want to draw your own vase, um, then here we go, that, that's one there. And as you can see, sort of, there is, um, I have drawn my own um, picture and design and I have done the Cretan ball that Hercules killed. And then I've just added all these little bits of extra detail, um, more so the Greek style. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of videos of me making it. And as per usual, I've been having a day of, um, problems with my technology my laptop that didn't make loads of noise and um, wouldn't record or um, record sounds either so and I only found that out halfway through me filming the um, vase that I was making so what I used for the clay color was actually a tea bag to give it that sort of authentic um, look and um, it came out really, really well. I'm really um, impressed with how it came out. And obviously, tea bags are something that um, most of you should have in the house. So just putting it with a little bit of water. So I put my tea bag in a um, takeaway tub. Shh, I don't. And um, I just put a little bit of hot water in. So make sure you get an adult to do this. And then um, there wasn't much water. And I just let it rest in there so it went cool to touch because you don't want to be touching something when it's just been when the water has been boiled um, and then I just dabbed it onto my image now I have managed to get a different video but you will see that I have already stained the paper with the tea bag 
anyway because I didn't realize that the video had stopped videoing straight away but I really think it gives it the sort of the authentic look of a clay pot and it works really well I keep looking that way because my picture is um, there and I'll show you at the end of the lesson um, so here we go let's start off with so this is my clay pot so far I say my clay pot my vase and I'm just like I said dabbing the tea bag all over some in more space places so it gives it that sort of patchy hard worn look and then I let it dry once I was happy that I'd covered most areas I did go out of the lines after a little while I tried my best to stay in the lines but um, it's kind of hard with a tea bag not to um, go out of the lines but if you wanted to you could cut your clay pot out your vase out as well um, so there we have the um, tea stained vase so then once it's dry it gives this really nice sort of orangey clay look with um with nice sort of um different shades of clay in areas so this is me i'm just now making the um design more visible so i'm using the black um that the greeks would have used for their um vases and i sort of wanted to stick with the sort of natural look as well that's why i chose to do the tea bag um staining if you don't have tea bags but you have coffee um you can use coffee i know coffee works really well as, as well it will be a bit darker um but you can add more water to it um i know when i worked um in year six we did some coffee artwork which was really good um so i'm just going to be going around everything that I've done and um, it really really stands out just going around everything but the, um, the black against the orange I really find is really really effective and they um, had it going there so um the vases let's talk a bit more about um grecian vases so they um were obviously very very popular it gave showed off their history showed off their um artistic flair and um people used to sell them to make money and uh, a lot of rich people had all these amazing vases in their homes and it was to show off how wealthy they were but um most people made their money off of making the vases themselves and um, the artists were very popular my Hercules is a little bit embarrassing <laughs> looks like he's wearing sunglasses um, I'm not very good at drawing people <laughs> at all uh, but I did very much enjoy making this um, a lot if you look at the um, pictures so there's some more pictures of Grecian vases everywhere uh, they show that they um, most of the people most of them they have these really thick legs these really thick vines <laughs> so that was fun but now I'm just sort of going in filling in all the blacks and I'm gonna stop talking <laughs> we're just gonna watch it all come together I did try speeding this up a little bit more but the um, the editing software wouldn't have it. it just kept jumping so I'm sorry <laughs> the sharpie pen still works um, but yes so tea bag coffee for the background um, it would be nice to see some of your designs. Remember, you're basing it on one of Hercules's 12 labours. So you have the Hydra, you have the Nemean Lion, you have Cerberus, the three-headed dog. Um, you've got uh, where he had to clean out those smelly stables. 
um, you have the Cretian Ball. Um, I didn't know whether or not to colour in the ball, but I'm glad I did because it looks so much better with it coloured in. Let's think about it. So what did I say? The Hydra, um, the Nemean Lion to start off with, uh, the Cretan Ball, Cretan Ball even, um, the Stables, I've gone blank. Uh, the golden eggs from the dragon, the man-eating birds, um, that's six, <laughs> I'm halfway there, I can't believe I've just gone really blank, um, what else did he do? Right, I'll have to have a think about that. Actually, I'm going to be really cheeky and look it up now that we have um, finished. Oh, no, i finished now, so I can stop talking. I can <laughs> carry on with this. So I actually, in the end, I kept looking at this, and most um, Greek vases always have the um, black candles or their patterns. So I just decided to colour in my... Um, handles and I think it definitely looks a lot better so I'll just show you here this is the final product of my vase I'm very pleased with it I think it's very effective and I look forward to seeing what yours look like so as I said today your task is to create a vase that depicts one of Hercules's 12 flavors so try to stick with the original colors remember they only used red and black but they also did use a bit of cream um, and a bit of white now I'm just going to look up because I cannot remember all of the labors of Hercules or Heracles I wonder if I can find them. Okay, so we had the lion. Oh, look, this is a really good one. On this page, they have the um, the images all on this website. So that's quite cool. So they had the the Nemean lion, the Hydra, the hind. I don't know what that one is. The boar, there was the boar, I remember the boar. The Argian stables, which was the smelly ones. The man-eating birds, I'm not going to pronounce those names of the birds because that's so hard to do. The Cretan boar, the horses of Diomedes, the belt of Hippolyte, um, Geron's cattle, the apples, so the, the golden apples, and Cerberus. So, um, a couple of them I don't really remember, but that, um, if you just type in Hercules's the, um, 12 labours, it actually comes with, as I've just shown you, there are the, um, the actual vase designs anyway. So, you might want to go and have a look at them and see if they give you any inspiration but i really hope you've enjoyed this lesson especially with my brain that's clearly not working today because i can't get any um technology to work but um it's a great lesson try your best with it um use a bit of coffee use a bit of tea that would be really lovely to see um a nice bit of natural ways of doing some artwork um, looking forward to seeing which labour you choose as well. I did want to do the lion, but um, I didn't think my art skills were quite up to it. So I'd really love to see if any of you do the Nemean lion. Enjoy your weekend. I look forward to seeing you all again on Monday for science. And remember, we're doing sun safety. How exciting. Goodbye, year three.